Good morning. I hope you all doing well. Let's fix a TV. This TV, customer brought it in. When you plug it in, uh, the backlight of the TV just comes for a millisecond and then blank. So I took the TV. First, I checked on the TV's motherboard. There is everything seems fine uh, on the backlight output the driver for the backlight it powers up to 78 volt and then it falls to 28 volt what I understand TV's backlight driver works like this when there's no load it, it works with the sensor or something or the circuit senses if there is a load or no load so when the backlights uh, the backlight panel or the backlights they are connected to the backlights driver which is a small two wire connectors you see this um, this points they goes to TV's backlight driver connectors basically it's the power you need for the LEDs so what I understand all the TV that has this driver connector or driver for the LED it it won't provide voltage or current unless there is a it sense there is LED is present okay and then it will provide what the LED required voltage and um, current wise it will provide that amount when it sense there is LED presence so if you basically unplug the the LEDs connector from the backlight driver it's simply gonna stay 28 volts it's not gonna jump to 50 or 70 volt so I checked that that was okay uh, it was behaving the way it was supposed to then I op uh, I put my backlight tester I have a backlight tester this is a backlight tester so <coughs> there comes two probes red and black and you use that those probes I'll show you in a bit uh, then I see after I use the volt I mean power from here to the backlights to the LEDs uh, it didn't come on right sometimes it came on sometimes it didn't came on a couple of times I tried a few times it did came on all of them now the problem was when I started to check all the LED was functional like there is nothing wrong with it but still the TV won't have backlights on the display I keep checking keep checking keep checking then all of a sudden I find out I'll show you guys this now the first stage there was no problem no LED was showing me any symptom but but after a few times of testing then the LED faulty one showed its face now look if I put say here Okay, first the symptom I didn't show you guys. Look here what happens. When I power on, you can see there is dim light, but it's not 
fully um, powered. Okay. These lights, I don't think my camera picks up. Let me switch it off again. Look nicely, guys. There comes lights on, but it's dim, very low. Okay, in the beginning, it wasn't the case. In the beginning, the lights was all good. So in my naked eye, I couldn't check or see which light has the problem. Anyway, and I keep checking, keep checking, keep checking, right? I have to stand. Oh, sorry. Let me remove this. White shit, so forth. Remove that. When I do this, it works. 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 You guys can see. All of them works. Till the point here. I'm blocking one LED that is also working. Now look what happens here. Oh, hello. How are you today? Good and you. It seems all of them are working, right? But there is but there is one LED that is not good. I'll show you guys. Right. Right. All right. And then you can have a look. On this point, mm -hmm. all my LED LEDs is working perfect. Okay. But after this LED, it's coming nothing. Or the bulb dies. Okay. Let's test that one. Okay. Yeah, I can see your one was lighting the other. I'm on the video, bro. No so, <clears throat> this is the problem with this TV. Okay, guys, we will try to not replace, we will make a plan with this one. And then we see if this TV comes on. Okay, so hold on. Let me help this customer. There is a customer in the shop. I'll pause the video for now. Okay, guys, let's remove the um, image LED. Okay. Call our little friend. Plug. Let's remove here. You just have to remove the damaged LED so there doesn't come any short circuit on it. Out. Just 
try with the tester it not come on in here is fine there We're gonna put the LED, which is this one. Let's check if this LED is okay. This LED is good. Also, same amount of voltage is pulling. So we're gonna put that. Okay, let me get my soldering iron. Okay, guys, let's test it together, okay? Look at it. All the lights are working. Full brightness. It's taking 20... 1.5 volt, I believe. 21.7 volt is fully. It's like 22 plus minus. Next one. All of them are working at full brightness. So what? Oh, other things I can also do. Plug the TV in. And 
then we can <coughs> try to switch it on. All of them are working. But remember, <coughs> it doesn't mean the TV is fixed. I cannot say the TV is fixed. The reason is when I put the LCD back and connect the LCD um, the, the, uh, call that LCD circuit onto the TV's main board then we must see if uh, this still comes on with the light okay give me a moment i'm going to put it back everything together for this tv and then we will test it okay okay guys the tv is being assembled let's test it together okay Power light is on. Let's switch it on. We have picture twenty. The TV is on. You see, the backlight is also working. It's <clears throat> having lights on the screen rather than dark. So, another TV fixed, guys. Um, as you see, I think on the buttons, I just switch it off. Okay, let's switch it on again. We have a line on the screen here, but the customer say it is for a very long time, this, the line is there, so customer don't worry about it, we don't have to worry for that, it's not our problem. Now guys, remember one thing, uh, the way I repair this TV it's the cheapest option okay um cheapest option is the customer didn't have enough or more money to spend on this TV it's a <clears throat> elderly person so I suggest let me rather fix it in my way which is gonna cost the customer less money so she said okay we fix it in a cheaper way the right way to fix the TV is replace the whole backlight set okay the whole backlight strip uh, it's it's quite expensive if you guys know about it you will understand it. Uh, but this will work my I believe this will work for, for quite a long time unless there is a problem power surge or something happens in the electricity line uh, yeah I will end this video now and as usual like and subscribe and share my channel's info to your friends and family um, I'll see you guys on the next video okay Take care.